In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add an armature to a model of an Android to make a very simple rig. I'm going to open the model of the Android. I'm going to add armature single bone. You can see a little bit of the bone there. To see the whole of the bone in the properties window, go to the object data for the armature and tick X-ray. I'm going to zoom in using the mouse wheel. I'm going to move the bone down using the blue arrow of the 3D manipulator widget. Right down. I'm going to, I want to stretch the bone, so I'm going to go into edit mode. Again, I'm going to use the blue arrow to move that up so that the tail of the bone is between the head and the body. And I'm going to name the bone backbone. I'm going to hold down shift and middle mouse button to pan down. I'm going to extrude a new bone by pressing E to extrude and I'm going to press Z or Z for Z direction and I'm going to call that new bone head. Now I want to extrude arm bones and to do that I want to turn X mirror on. So in armature options I turn X mirror on. I'm going to select the join. Now to extrude with mirror, it's shift and E, and then I can extrude my bones. I'm going to press X for X direction and extrude my arm bones. I'm going to name the bones that we just created. This will be arm left, and this will be arm right. I'm going to uh, to move the arms, I need to disconnect them from the armature. To do that, I'm going to hold down Alt and press P and select Disconnect Bone. Now I'm going to press G to grab and move the bone. Then I'm going to press R to rotate followed by 90 degrees and enter. I'm going to remove the roll. I don't want any roll particularly. And I'm going to press G to grab and I'm looking at the top of the bone that will be the point of rotation, so I'm going to put the bone there. Now I'm going to do exactly the same for the legs. I'm going to select the join, do shift and E to extrude with mirror, press X for X direction. I'm going to select the bone and name it leg, leg left and leg right. I'm going to hold down Alt and press P to disconnect the bone. I'm going to press G to grab and R to rotate followed by 90 and enter. Uh, take any roll off and zoom back a little bit and shift middle mouse button to pan. G to grab and I'm going to put that there and shift middle mouse button to pan, select the tail, G to grab, Z for Z direction and just move that up a bit. Now all the bones are in place I'm going to go into pose mode to pose the armature. I'm going to select the arm bone and press G to grab and when I do that clearly the 3D model is not connected to the bone Control Z to undo that. To connect the arm to the bone, I'm going to select the arm. I'm going to hold down Shift and select the bone. And I'm going to press hold down Control and P to make the bone the parent of the arm. Repeat that for the other bone. If you have difficulty selecting the bone, zoom in with the mouse. Hold down Shift, select the bone and Control and P to make the bone the parent. Same for the body, select the body, hold down Shift, select the backbone, Control and P, and bone. Same for the head, select the head, hold down Shift, select the head bone, Control and P, and bone. And finally the legs, select a leg, hold down Shift, 
select the leg bone, control and P, and bone, select the leg, hold down shift, select the bone, control and P, and bone. Now if I pose the arm, if I select the bone and press G to grab, the model goes with the bone but it's not posing as we would like, control and Z. To make the arm easier to pose, go to Bone Constraints, add a constraint, Inverse Kinematics, and set the chain length to be 1. Now if I press G to grab and pose the arm, it's much easier to pose. And repeat that for the arms and the legs. Add Inverse kinematics, chain length 1, add inverse kinematics, chain length 1, and the final leg, add constraint, inverse kinematics, chain length 1. And that's the very simple rig completed. I'll put the start file and the end file at my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.